Nobody puts baby in the water. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Foreign Film Friday. Even though today is not the first Friday of the month, which is what we usually do with this series, we've been a little bit off schedule the past few months, but never mind, we are all here now, which is what matters. Today we are reviewing a movie which has been on my mind for the past six months nearly since I saw it earlier this year at the Sydney Film Festival. It is the Polish period romance Cold War. Filmed in black and white, in this four by three aspect ratio so it's not widescreen everything is very compressed into almost this square frame the movie is written and directed by Polish director Pavel Pawlikowski sorry about that pronunciation and his previous film Ida in 2015 took home the Oscar that year so this is his follow-up film Cold War and he made it and dedicated it to his parents as like a love letter to his parents. It is loosely, loosely based on the events of their life. For me, part of the success of this love story, and let me tell you as well, you already know my personal preferences. I rarely like romance movies. I find them incredibly cheesy, incredibly unrealistic. So that's saying something walking into a movie like this and just absolutely being so charmed by it and I think some of the huge success of this love story comes from the obstacles of the backdrop that these characters face in this post-World War II Polish world where it's this cold war there's a lot of political mistrust and loyalty and allegiances to the motherland to Poland and a very strange time historically so couple that with this sort of mismatched romance these two characters who are quite different from each other as well so you've got Zula who is from the country she's a little bit more uh, worldly and she's more of the earth and she meets Victor who is a musician and an artist a little bit more like educated so the two of them come from completely different worlds and Zula actually catches Victor's eye when she is auditioning for him uh, for this folk Polish folk ensemble that he is putting together, this troupe of singers and dancers. There is this real mastery of storytelling in this film, and I don't use that phrase lightly, trust me, but there's no hand holding, and I just really appreciate that the way that the scenes kind of chapter one after the other. There is no linking explanations about where we are and what we're doing apart from some uh, titles that come up to tell you the year and the place and the city. So apart from that, the scenes, it's just the interesting scenes. There's no plot explanation. You just get like this butting up of interesting scenes and it's up to the audience to piece together what's happening in the interim time that we're not seeing because there is a lot of time progression in this film and it is melodramatic in a way because the scale is very grand the challenges that this couple have to face it's not straightforward as they love each other and they want to be together the end it's they're facing um, a lot grander ideas of political allegiances or a con allegiances to their country and crossing borders and it's a very tumultuous time in the world so there's a lot more to it as they come and go out of each other's lives. The musical journey in this film is completely its own arc as well. In the beginning we hear a lot of folk music um, of the people, of the workers and the peasants of the country and then things kind of evolve as time progresses and we spend some time in Paris and suddenly things turn into like a jazz sense. It's absolutely fascinating the way the music uh, complements the story and all of the music I think I'm pretty sure all of the music is diegetic music which means there is no film score all the music is occurring on screen so it's being sung by bands by the characters it's being played in the clubs it's being heard on stage so all the music is part of the film in a very real and raw way and adds a lot to the story of the film it's one of my favorite films of the whole entire year it's, it's beautiful, it's artistic, and it's got something very 
real to say. So I really enjoyed the film Cold War and I would not be at all surprised to see it nominated in the best foreign language film category this year or next year at the Academy Awards. For sure, it's definitely going to be there. Guys, there have been my thoughts on Cold War. Do yourself a favor, go see it. If you like arty movies, this movie is art and story and character and music all together. It is so beautiful. Please, please go and see it. <laughs> that is it from me today. Don't forget, you can also uh, subscribe to my channel here and keep up to date with all things movies and TV. And that is it from me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.